All right. Uh, what's up, everyone? Random card stuff here with the next part of my Theros prize pack openings. Um, we've gotten one mythic so far, and that's Palunkranos, which is, he's good, but not necessarily anything money-wise. But without further ado, let's get going. Nessian Asp, Brown Sable, Ephara's Warden, Sip of Hemlock, Cavern Lampid, Boulder Fall, Spearpoint Oread, Unknown Shores, Aquitus Form, Asphodel Wanderer, Dissolve, Insatiable Harpy, Nelia's Emissary, and a Daxos of Melitus. Next pack we have Guardians of Melitus, Battlewise Valor, Loathsome Catopolis, Omen Speaker, Boon of Erebos, Vaporkin, Aquatus Form, Asphodel Wanderer, Wingsteed Rider, Two-Headed Cerberus, Anvilrite Raptor, Centaur Battlemaster, Decorated Griffin, and a Melitus Charlatan. And a big token. Nothing way too amazing yet. Next we have Ill-Tempered Cyclops, Guardians of Melitus, Battlewised Valor, Staunch-Hearted Warrior, Boon of Erebos, Portent of Betrayal, Commune with the Gods, Returned Flanix, Laguna Band Elder, Lost in a Labyrinth, Stone Shock Giant, Sea God's Revenge, Arena Athlete, uh, Steam Augury as the rare, which is pretty good. The reverse factor fiction. People are on the fence about that one. Fact of Fiction is better, but I think it's a good card. Demolish. Afera's Warden. Flash Mad Steed. Nimbus Nyad. Disciple of Phoenix. Wave Crash Trit Titan. Vulpine Goliath. Yoked Ox. Baleful Edelion. Magma Jet. Rescue from the Underworld. Coordinated Assault. A Thassa, God of the Sea. Which is good to see. And a Melitus Charlatan as a foil. So two foil rares and both of them not very good. But Thass is good. Next up we have Nimbus Nyad, Battlewise Valor, Crowan Crusader, Savage Surge, Rage of Perforos, Seder Hedonist, Read the Bones, Last Breath, Unknown Shores, Crackling Triton, Artisan's Sorrow, Evangel of Heliod, Fanatic of Mogus, and a Mistcutter Hydra. Next pack we have Bronze Sable, Messenger Speed, Monomic Wall, Calvary Pegasus, Borderland Minotaur, Sedge Scorpion, Boon of Erebos, Citizen Griffin, Bethenic Giant, Time to Feed, Nemesis of Mortals, Ordeal of Erebos, Triton Tactics, and another Nelia God of the Hunt. So that's good. Starting to get decent mythics. And another Nalia is good if I'm trying to throw together some random mono green for Friday in three days. Chosen by Heliod, Ferris Band Centaurs, Nilia's Presence, Minotaur Skull Cleaver, Disciple of Phoenix, Voyage's End, Wingsteed Rider, Two Headed Cerebrus, Vulpine Goliath, Anul, Stone Shock Giant, Glare of Heresy, Sentry of the Underworld, and a Hammer of Perforos. Next up we have Messenger Speed, Monomic Wall, Felhide Minotaur, Borderland Minotaur, Return Centaur, Hopeful Edelion, Fate Foretold, Portent of Betrayal, Defend the Hearth, Flanix Leader, Ordeal of Perforos, Arena Athlete, a Night Howler as the rare, which I think is a pretty good card. It's going to be the game day promo too. 
and a foil voyage's end. Might be able to get through the rest of the packs if I go faster with these. Viper's Kiss, Dragon Mantle, Omen Speaker, Grey Merchant, Cavern Lampid, Sedge Scorpion, Wild Celebrants, Silent Artisan, Time to Feed, Rescue from the Underworld, Prophos' Emissary, Farika's Mender, Abhorrent Overlord, a Foil Steam Augury, which is very, very interesting ratio. That's the third foil rare of the box. Actually, a good one. I mean, I like Steam Augury. I've gotten three, which might be the only ones in the box. I don't know. I don't know. I think you get like three to six as a box. I don't know the ratios of Theros. Demolish, the Pharaoh's Warden, Flash Mad Steed. I'll probably just stop on the ones that we haven't seen. Cavern Lampet, Faithful Angel Lion. Keepsake Gorgon, Chronicler of Heroes, Fantastic Mogi, another Celestial Archon, almost. No, I do, I do have my playset now. We should just run Mono White Celestial Archon and lose. We have to remake your deck. Ill-Tempered Cyclops. Tormented Hero, Warrior's Lesson, Cutthroat Maneuver, Annex and Symede. And another Death Bellerator foil. <laughs> No, we're not. Minotaurus. No, we're not making Minotaurus. Nellia's presence, Fleet Feather Sandals, Artisan Sorrow, Favored Hope Light, Dark Betrayal, and an Arbor Colossus. Which for all I know, I'm probably running in the mono green because I'll probably just throw together all my mono green stuff. Probably only have uncommons to be notable at the moment. Uh, Anger of the Gods. That's actually a really good rare. If I ever get enough cards for Grix Grixis Control, I'm going to be running it. That's what I want to run. Hero's Downfall, which is another good rare. And a Foil Tormented Hero, which isn't bad. few more packs. God's Willing, Mogi's Marauder, Horizon Chimera, Shipwreck Singer, another hundred-handed one, and the cool golem token. No, I'm not making a hundred-handed one deck. As funny as that would be, another Polis Crusher. Two more packs. A fleece main lion, which is also pretty good. Maybe I should run green white. Last pack we have Crown War Warcaller, Witch's Eye. Triton's Tactics, and a Whip of Erebos. Well, it's, it's decent. It's pretty good rare to end on. Yeah, I would love to get an Elspeth, but... Nope. Uh, so, for Mythics in the box, I got a Nilia, Thassa, and Plunkronos. Not the best, but not necessarily the worst either. Uh, two of the gods are pretty good. I guess I'll try to run green now, because I have two Nilias. Um... But yeah, it was mostly prize packs, so that's also good. I don't think I can do a recap quick enough. I only have 20 seconds. <laughs> 14 seconds. So, some good stuff, some bad stuff. Few steam auguries, 
Got a thoughts he is from my earlier packs.